Collins here from Appalachian DIY and today we're going to be modifying this Jeep to accept a car battery. You can see here that the um, Power Wheels battery is a lot smaller than a normal car battery so we're going to have to do a little modification. Um, take this grill off and right here you can see is the battery compartment. What we're going to have to do is cut this front part out to be able to put the car battery up front. The reason I don't want to put it in the back here, there is room for it, but you're going to load the kids in here, plus the battery is going to be in the back. Um, I've heard a lot of times if you're going up hills, it has a tendency to do a wheelie. So we want to distribute the weight a little better, so that's why we're going to still keep it up, up front and uh, just modify it a little bit. Okay, what we're doing here is cutting out the battery compartment with the Dremel tool. Um, it's small enough to get in those little angles. Uh, the grinder is a little bit too big for this. Okay, that worked out really well. The battery just fits under the hood, but uh, it does come out a lot further. So, what we're going to do is we're going to end up making another grill for this so it helps hold it in. I got some sheet metal and we'll fashion one up. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this piece of metal that I got from an old wash machine. We're going to cut it up and mold it into a grill. This is going to help the battery to stay in place. I marked out where the battery will go on this plate, so all we need to do is cut it and then bend it back. Okay, all we need to do now is just bend this on a 90 degree angle and pull these two fins back. What we'll do next is measure down here an inch and a half, which will get us to that plastic where we cut off, and then we will make a bend there for a flange to attach this to the battery compartment. So far the fit is looking really good. Um, we're just going to need to trim it along here to knock that little lip top off. And uh, we got our marks for where we're going to bend the flange around and tie into our battery compartment. So what I'm doing here is I have a square attached to the uh, battery bumper and we're just going to make a straight bend with that edge. That gives us a good 90 degree angle for our flange to attach to the battery compartment. Okay, what we're going to do now is take a drill. We're going to drill through the side compartment here for the battery and catch the flange that's on the inside. The next thing we can do is go ahead and bolt our battery bumper onto the battery compartment that we cut apart here. Okay, we got the bumper bolted on. It's really solid. I put two on this side, two on this side, and one down here in the middle and that thing ain't going anywhere. That's really good. I'm really happy with that. Um, the next thing we need to do is hook our battery up to the power wheel itself. Now we have this plug on here and that's not going to work for us because we have a car battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and snip this off 
And you can see that there is a negative and a positive to this coupling. Uh, for me, the negative side is the black wire and the positive side is the white wire. So just pay special attention when you snip this off, the polarity of the plug. The next thing that we need to do is take our battery wires and put a battery terminal on them. These are 3 8 so they will fit in right to the battery post and will screw into the battery. Just take your terminals, strip them down to about a quarter inch, and then you can just feed them right in, this, right in there like that, and then just crimp them down. There you go, now we have two terminals that we can just screw right into our battery. Now the only thing left to do is install the battery. I needed to put these washers on with the battery post because there was a little bit of a gap and it wasn't making a firm connection. 